use the formula. This is great. They just gave us a formula, and they told us what the variables mean. A is the amount accrued, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest, T is the time. And then they tell us what values to replace those with. Extremely generous. That just makes this a plug and chuck problem. So, for example, we've got A, that's the amount accrued equals the principal times E to the power of the rate times the time. And up here we can see that the amount of time is three years and that's what T is. T is the time in years. So I'm going to replace that with three. Um, we got an interest rate of 8% and we need that as a decimal so I'm going to replace the rate with 0 0.08 of course we're multiplying that by 3 now it didn't tell us how much we put in but it did tell us how much came out that's the amount of crude that right there is going to be 1200 bucks and it looks like it just wants us to find out how much was invested wait no yeah I'm sorry this is the problem with not reading the full problem, all right? I, I read that as the amount accrued. It is not the amount accrued. It is the principal. That's how much was invested. So we are looking for the amount accrued. And $1,200 is the principal. Here's the nice thing about this. We can plug this directly into the calculator. If that's something you're going to struggle with, just use the order of operations. So 1,200 times E, uh, there's no parentheses, but I do need to do the exponents first. Uh, 0 0.08 times 3 would be 0 0.24. And this one, you definitely need a calculator because E is an irrational number. So plugging this into my calculator is what I get out of my calculator. I did have to round that, and we would round this because it's in money. And since this is going to be on a test, make sure you label that. Otherwise, you may lose points. Let me rephrase that. You will lose points if you don't label it. Okay. So this would be $1,525.50. All right. Um, that's not the amount that was accrued, though. Right? This is just the amount that came out from there. The amount accrued is separate from the amount that you invest. All this means, that's correct, we just need to subtract our 1200 original investment out of this thing, and we should get uh, 325.50. Now I'm okay if you put the actual amount on that, but technically this is, this is the actual answer that they want, because that's how much was accrued.